Hey everybody, it's Mikey Abrams with Texas Pride Realty Group. And today I'm speaking to you, homeowners or home sellers or people who are even thinking about selling their house. Today's topic is gonna be iBuyers. In case you don't know what an iBuyer is, I cannot mention particular names, but they do rhyme with pillow or a uh, dope and sore. But <laughs> an iBuyer program is a buyer that you can have like you'll get like a postcard in the mail that says we're going to give you an all cash offer and you, you don't have to have any hassle and there's going to be no real estate agents involved and boom and it'll be completely done okay fine that's what you want to do i'm going to explain and really break this stuff down of what this really is all right we see these contracts all the time and it gets people into a lot of trouble and most of the time people come back to me and they say help me and i said sorry you're in the middle of this already and signed contracts i can't help you so I'm stopping the bleeding. I'm stopping the avalanche before it happens. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do and I'm gonna break this down. This particular uh, iBuyer sent me a postcard and I put my own house into it because I just wanted to see exactly the contracts and what I would be expecting. So this one is the verses. They give you a um, breakdown of this is if you sell with them versus like if you sell with an agent. So number one is you instantly get a competitive offer and selling the traditional way, which is with a real estate agent, is the risk of buyer financing falling through. Well, number one, I'm gonna break this down. When you have a real estate agent, you can have cash offers. <laughs> we organize this and we market the home so that you potentially do. And in this market, this high seller's market within DFW, you're saying risk of buyer's uh, financing following through. That's why we negotiate for you. We negotiate things like appraisal waivers and inspection waivers so that you don't have these kinds of problems. It's just as good as cash. And most of the time, these cash offers are completely like low when you can actually get a good conventional offer with a complete appraisal waiver that's gonna be much, much higher and it's just as good as cash. Why don't you want that money? I don't understand. So number two is the no listings or the prep work. And the other thing is if you're working with us, you have to prep the house and have showings. Well, of course you have to have showings because you're gonna have to have showings with the other people too because they're gonna have to check out the house, okay? And isn't it best if you have a little bit of prep work to just get the home ready so that you can achieve that maximum value? I'm not talking about completely remodeling your kitchen or remodeling your bathroom or anything. I'm talking about cleaning your shit up, okay? Which you're gonna have to do anyway because you're gonna be moving, right? So might as well do it now. And if that's what's gonna get you an extra 20K onto your offer, well, hell, I, I'm gonna clean out everybody's garages. The other thing you need to know is the home showings. We control the showings. You control the showings. It has nothing to do with this particular iBuyer program. You can set it up saying, I'm only allowing showings at this time, or with this particular market too, I say, go away for a couple of days. Let me take over your house. And boom, when you come back, I have multiple offers for you. So wouldn't, isn't that kind of worth it? for the extra money that you're gonna be getting. All right, number three is you're gonna skip the, uh, the stressful repair work. And um, with us, you deal with all the repairs yourself. BS, I call BS like a smelly dog's ass. So this, nah, when you work with these iBuyer programs, what they do is they will send somebody out here and they will call out repairs that need to happen to your house. And guess who's responsible for those repairs? You. You may not have to do them, but they're gonna knock it down in the price, okay? So be very wary that if someone's gonna be offering you half a million dollars for your house, and then they walk through and they decide the last minute that they need to knock 50, 60, $70,000 off because of repairs that you have no room to negotiate with, that's your problem. That is your problem. Whereas if you're working with a, re a licensed real estate agent, we check things for you to know, okay, this is what's gonna be good, this is what's not gonna be good, and we're gonna price things accordingly so that when potential buyers come through we can disclose them on the seller's disclosure and then that way you don't have to repair them it's just gonna be done in the negotiations it's the same thing it's just done in a different way all right so there's nothing new about this 
Uh, the other thing is you get to choose your own clothes date. And then they say for us, it's uncertainty about your clothes date. Bullshit. That's why we have a clothes date on the one to four family residential contract. We negotiate that. We pick the clothes date. In addition to that, we can even negotiate a lease back for you sellers. Meaning after you close, you can stay in that house for free for a while, while you move and you gonna already have your money, especially in this market. So when it comes to these iBuyer programs, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is the commission. You're always worried about like, oh God, I have to pay a real estate agent 6% commission. Ah, uh, 3% for one side, 3% for the other side. How can I deal with the yard highway robbery? Well, what they're gonna charge you too is they're gonna charge you a commission as well. It may not be as much for us as, as us, they're gonna usually charge between five and five and a half percent. So we're looking at a half percent difference, but isn't that half percent worth being able to have somebody on your side negotiating and explaining things? Isn't it worth knowing that you're probably gonna be getting more for your house than you will for these I buyer cash buyers, right? I mean, in the long run, you are gonna be walking away with a lot more money and you are gonna be walking away with somebody who's gonna be on your side, helping you, knowing that you did not get ripped off. Is that worth that little extra measly 0.5%? I would definitely say so. These are the kinds of programs, like if you are an experienced seller, meaning you have sold like a dozen homes and you know the process inside and out by now, okay, I can see you maybe doing that. But if you're somebody who's only sold about one or two houses, how often do you look at those contracts? Who's gonna be on your side? I do it every day. Licensed real estate agents do it every day. These people, these I buyers, when I negotiated with them, here's another little quick thing. When I negotiated with them on the buyer side, when I per was working for the buyers and we purchased one that was from a listing from these I buyers, I asked questions about the property and they had no idea about it. They said, oh, we don't know. We just kind of, you know, do what our program says and just kind of open up the textbook and <laughs> judge by that. Every house is its own individual and every house has its own individual owners and every house needs different things and types of attention. Is that the kind of attention that you want? Or do you actually want somebody who's going to individualize the case for you and work what's best for you and garner the most money and the least amount of stress for this deal. So before you get into the iBuyer program, please reach out to, it could be me, it could be somebody else, but reach out to a licensed real estate agent and then you're gonna compare the two and make the judgment for yourself. Thanks for tuning in everybody. It's been Mikey Abrams with Texas Pride Realty Group. If you have any questions or concerns or anything about that, please give me a call. Also, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get more information on the Dallas Fort Worth housing market because I do serve the tea in realty. <laughs> Bye. Take pride in your real estate experience.